charge is one of the basic properties of matter that causes it to experience forces. There are two types of electric charge, positive and negative. Matters of opposite charge attract each other, whereas matters of same charge will repel each other. In the papermaking process, fibers and water are the two major elements. Fibers are negatively charged by nature. Water contains salts and contaminants, which make it negatively charged as well. Chemical additions to the process are typically positively charged to promote them being attracted to the negatively charged water or fibers. In a charge balanced process, the charge in the water is neutralized with just the right amount of positive additives named fixing agents. This allows the fibers to be open to receive value adding agents, such as paper strength additives. If not enough fixing agent is added, then the remaining negative charge in the water will consume the value-adding agents designed to be for the fiber. So we will need to add more of these and more money will be spent to deliver the same performance. Similarly, there can be too much fixing agent added and it will start occupying the fiber charge. This limits the fiber's ability to react with value-adding agents. Adding more of such agents might be the solution, but if the fibers are already charge saturated, benefits will disappear. Worse than that, problems occur. Web breaks, reduced production speed, and quality defects are examples of what can happen. For these reasons, it is critical to understand the exact charge of water throughout the entire process to be able to pour the correct amount of fixing agents and, as such, to optimize performance. An accurate instrument will measure charge around the clock and deliver the information needed to build control schemes on additives.